George sold 48 notebooks in three days. Each day, he sold two more than the previous day. How many notebooks did he sell each day? Pause, pause. I know what you're thinking. If you're an adult watching this video, you're probably like, what's so hard about this problem? Just put the first day as X and then add two more uh, books as you go on until you reach the third day, right? But let's take a step back and put yourself in a kid's shoe, maybe even a sixth grader that's trying to solve this problem. It's difficult because most uh, sixth graders or 90% of students trying to solve a problem like this are used to a linear problem. What I mean by a linear problem is that they have a starting number. Starting number, let's say Daniel had like five oranges and then he ate three of them. How many do I have left, right? So they're used to having a number to start off with and then working from left to right. But this problem is challenging because we don't know how many books uh, George started out with, but we know that he ended with 48. And that's why it's so challenging. But this is more the reason why the bar model is so important. Let's take a look. Now you can probably guess why the bar model is so helpful. And the answer is obvious. It provides a visual representation of how the problem is laid out uh, just using a picture reference and there's no need to use fancy variables like X in order to solve the problem. So we know that um, after the second and third day from, this, from these bars that he sold a total of six more notebooks compared to the first day. And if we take these um, six notebooks away, we notice that um, we have an equal uh, number of notebooks for the three days. So we can take the 48 and subtract the six from it, which would give us 42. So if you wanted to know how many notebooks George sold just on the first day, we can take the 42 and divide it by three. And we would get 14. So George sold 14 notebooks on the first day alone. And then on the second day, he sold two more. So that's going to be two more than 14. So 16. And then on the third day, he sold a four more than the first day. So we can just do 14 plus four and say 18 is our answer. Hope this problem was helpful, guys. Now, remember, you can use bar models and pictures for any types of word problems that require a lot of thinking. It's super helpful if you use a simple diagram. It just opens up the problem so much more and then your brain so much more clear. So give it a try next time.